hey guys what's up welcome back to the channel it's cynic alex and we got the very first sneak peek for the august update but apparently i triggered some of you in yesterday's video by not revealing what the dormammu skill change was until like five and a half minutes into the video and then some of you guys also disliked the video because you didn't agree with me that the skill was changed or you didn't think that it was worthwhile of a video i don't know so maybe i just stretched this out and for the first like five minutes i won't even talk about the sneak peek to trigger you guys for round two it's two days in a row that i'm got free real estate in your heads imagine that no but seriously the first sneak peek is none other than black bolt i've already had a couple of people ask me who is in the first sneak peek so I just want to get it out of the way. It's Black Bolt, baby. That's right. We're getting an Inhumans update, which is crazy good. Very, very hype. Lots of underused and frankly bad, right? Undervalued characters. They're, they're need, they need reworks desperately. Tons of characters that could be touched on in this update. Now, are all of the Inhumans going to get reworked? Probably not. That's wishful thinking. But if, if most of them, if 60%, 70% get reworked, I would be absolutely, you know, I'd be ecstatic character reworks are really important for this game of course we need game mode reworks we know that guys but let's jump into the sneak peek without any further triggering so august sneak peek number one let's see this is cm fragment of the moral future fight team a grave danger from space looms over our planet fun fact when they sneak when they did the sneak peek back in 2017 for dormammu it was a giant dormammu that was sort of coming to grab the earth now i know dormammu doesn't live or come from space he he is and lives in he he is but he also exists within the dark dimension he exists within himself that's a cool little metaphor so anyways yeah i know he's from the dark dimension not from space but just want a small little fun fact there uh several superheroes have gathered to stand against this threat from space in these unknown circumstances the denizens of earth need more than a hero what we need is a king that's right the king of wakanda sorry the king of the inhumans the silent rise of the celestial redeemer there's a lot of referencing here there's a lot of nice wordplay i really like the wording for the sneak peek so i'm gonna shout out not the sneak peek team for once i'm gonna shout out cm fragment you did good this time cm fragment the king of the inhumans will soon and the last member of the illuminati will soon descend upon marvel future fight after soundly defeating his enemies yeah i think yeah, everyone else in the illuminati has tier three doctor strange namor professor x and i'm missing one Ah, one oh, Iron Man, and I'm still missing one. Darn. Well, and then there's Black Bolt. Are there five, six members of the Illuminati? Anyways, um, maybe yeah, Black Black Panther. So yeah, they all have it except for Black Bolt. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the Illuminati is all done now. I should have double checked this before I made the video, but anyways, it doesn't matter. Let's get to the sneak peek in question. But first, let's see what they had to say over on Twitter. Black Bolt, and then we we have the clear indication here. Black Bolt has a few words. A few words right that he'd like to share with his foes he doesn't have any words he's got some whispers after hearing the call of his people the king of the inhumans takes flight in the v63 update so now we have a full update shift remember the odin update the odin mini update was considered 6.2.5 and then the cable enchantress was also 6.2.5 so very interesting things going on here it seems as though there's a there's a bit of a paradigm shift there's a bit of a, a shift in in sort of the idea and uh, how they're going to lay out an update over at the Marvel Future Fight headquarters. They're sort of tinkering with our brains here and trying to switch things up so that we don't get too bored and it's not too predictable in terms of how the updates come, you know, A, B, C, D. So let's check out the, this is, this is actually, we're three, four minutes into the video. This is the actual sneak peek. <laughs> beautiful 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 i'm gonna let this loop for a few times here this is a beautiful beautiful sneak peek as always you know the 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 sun comes up in the morning this the the water uh, unless there's a serious toxic issue the water in the sea is blue right and i talk about the sneak peek team and i and i praise the sneak peek team these are three things that you know with absolute certainty with objective clarity will always happen uh, one of them happens, you know, they happen daily, whatever. This happens monthly, but the sneak peek team does it again. They come in and they just bang out the biggest home run you have ever seen. This looks beautiful. And I also got to give it up to the animation team doing the Black Bolt character model because this is obviously pulled from in-game and it looks absolutely delicious. Now, let's go and let's go ahead and break this sneak peek down in reverse because I'm a psychopath, okay? So first of all, we're going to show you, well, I'm going to show you 
the we we you we don't me someone showed this to me so we're going to show you the black bolt tier three did you miss it it was right there yeah i know so you got to go back frame by frame but check this out the sneak peek team boom boom what's that what's that i mean it looks sort of like escanor's axe if you added a handle on the side but of course that's a t right ignore the stuff on the bottom it's a t right t uh and then we go ahead we, we go ahead three two or three frames so the t is literally on screen for two or three frames 24 frames right per per second so you know um yeah very very brief and then we have a about you know what is this an m m no of course it's a three so we have tier three there we go t3 boom bada bing bada boom black bolt tier three could not have happened to a better character you gotta love it you gotta love it so black bolt's getting his tier three that's awesome what else can we get from the uh sneak peek let's check it out we can get a brand new look a brand new look for black bolt and i gotta say he looks insanely cool this is badass to the limit and i also have to say that i had no idea what comic run this was from from when i saw it it's alex ross's work it's got sort of you know it's got vibes of horror it's got vibes of this like spookiness it's got this sort of otherworldly almost like cthulhu or some order type of it's it's got really strange vibes and when you see the the comic uh or at least one of the the covers for one of the comics here this is earth x this is like an alternate um imagining of inhumans and of earth you can see it's got you know you've got religious vibes going on here it's just like a lot of uh really deep stuff but also kind of mind bending in a way that's that's medusa by the way that's not uh the lion from <laughs> the wizard of oz that's medusa the boobish i know and then down here we've got gorgon crystal uh triton and karnak looking very strange looking like statues looking like the the mount rushmore of the inhumans so very 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 bizarre i'm told i haven't read earth x but i'm told it's very strange and very out there now how much how much of earth x uh and th that comic series is being pulled out for this update we don't know but this is just a little bit more notes on this I'm, i've been told that apparently black bolt may or may not be a villain in this comic run i haven't had time to, to read it yet this is like a fan drawing so it's you know yeah but there's karnak there's gorgon there's triton yeah it's it's quite a bit out there but yeah brand new uniform for black bolt he looks so cool the wings are amazing the the helmet looks really badass you can't even see his face it looks really cool i gotta say i'm very very hype for this uh and then well we see him flying which is kind of cool he kind of sh shoots up uh, and then we also get a picture over here of the Terrigen Mist in a cave. And we also have this crystal here. Now, I'm only going to talk about this because I've seen this rumor sprouting up everywhere. And I just want to address it briefly because I personally don't like it. And I know that it can stress some people out. So there are rumors. And again, there's always going to be rumors. We know. I know. You know, I can't control what people say. But, uh, and, and we, you know, we can't control what people say, but there are rumors that, that the crystal here is an indication that there's going to be a new material for Inhumans uh, in order to tier three them or, or something. So currently as it stands, Inhumans are not denoted by anything specific or anything exclusive in the game whatsoever for any upgrade material at all, except for the small fact that right there under allies or across from allies under universal, it says Inhuman. Otherwise, they are exactly the same type of rank up characters as every other faction besides mutants. So Net Netmarble and Marvel Future Fight made that distinction in May or June of 2017 when they made the mutants. Now, you could sort of see that as a, as a way of, of viewing things because it was January 2017 or February 2017 where they introduced the Inhumans. So maybe they introduced the Inhumans and then when they were going to introduce the X-Men, they were like, huh? We sort of missed an opportunity to monetize the different faction so now let's monetize the the x-men faction i don't know right maybe not maybe they were just experimenting with the x-men faction and they didn't plan on making the inhuman faction different but i would be i would be surprised again you can you can get on you know you can get on any topic you can talk about oh Ned marble so greedy and all this stuff they are really greedy yeah I, you know, sure but i think it would be really dumb of them to now you know after all that time to now introduce a brand new item to tier three in humans it just doesn't make any sense from from a logical standpoint of view it doesn't make sense because they did not introduce 
different types of CCF for mutants when they could have two years ago. And they also didn't introduce new types of books. Because if you remember, we didn't have a mutant tier three until Deadpool. We got one of every single type of, of uh, tier three before Deadpool. We had combat with Captain America. Then we had blast and speed uh, with Ant-Man, uh, Spider-Man and Iron Man. And then we had universal with Thor. So we had all four. And a lot of people were speculating just before uh, we got the mutant update with Deadpool, what happens when they give us a tier three mutant? Maybe there will be mutant books that are not combat blast speed or universal, or maybe they're gonna make mutant combat blast speed and universal books because we had Phoenix Feathers and Mkron Crystals, but they didn't do that. So I'm, I would be very surprised and I would be shocked and I would be kind of pissed off as well if they make the Inhumans have some sort of different CCF material. But there is nothing in the game files to support that. There's nothing in, there's no data mine, anything, no, nothing that I found anyways. Maybe, maybe something gets dug up later, I don't know. But as of right now, there is nothing. So yeah, those are just rumors. If you hear people saying that and saying that they know it's gonna happen, it's just a rumor. I just wanted to address that really quickly. So going back to the sneak peek and going back to this bizarre black bolt, here is another version, which is a little bit different than what we see in the sneak peek. Uh, the sneak peek is much closer to this one because the wings almost look like pieces of metal. It's very, very, very close to this one. And actually, if you guys don't know, Black Bolt actually kind of does fly by screaming. Sort of like, well, no, actually, he doesn't fly by screaming. Havix, Havix does that. But um, he does have these wings underneath. You can see the wings there, kind of, like underneath his, uh, like, like those flying squirrels underneath his armpits. He does have them here on both. So this is sort of part of his look. You have the fork there to, to amplify his powers or whatever, like sort of uh, control them, focus them. But uh, yeah, the, the wings underneath, but I'm talking about the wings on top. And obviously in the sneak peek, you've got very pronounced wings. You do have the wings underneath as well, I believe. Well, no, not really. You just have them in the back. But yeah, so it seems like some sort of imagining of this Earth X version of Black Bolt, some reimagining. This is a different version. Now, this is just a variant cover. He's not actually in the uh, in, in the comic, I believe, because this was this is like 2020. This was this year. But again, they could be drawing from this and that because uh, like the, the, this one from from I don't know, this is like the 90s or something. I'm not sure exactly when this was printed, but this is extremely new. This is like, you know, just a couple of months ago. Uh, so it's possible that they're sort of drawing inspiration from both. That doesn't necessarily mean that either one of these comic runs is going to be where the rest of the inspiration comes from. But of course, this is where they got the Guardians of the Galaxy Epic Quest update from, where they get sucked into the worm, the, the, the wormhole or whatever, and you have Beta Ray Bill, and you know, that's where we got that Epic Quest update from. So yeah, I wanted to cover that. I also want to remind you guys, and I also want to talk briefly about any potential other Inhumans that could be coming, because we have this tweet and I want to give you guys a little flashback this is February 22nd 2017 this is more than three years ago it's so weird to imagine but look at this back in the day 86 likes come on Marvel future fight I'm so glad to see that you've grown so much in three and a half years you get you guys get hundreds thousands of likes on tweets now it's awesome but anywho this is the this is the original wallpaper for the Inhumans royal family and I want to bring this up specifically uh, shout out to Nimbus. He's been here for a long time. I see him on a lot of tweets. Um, the, the royal family is actually missing one member. There's one member of the Inhumans royal family. So we've got Gorgon, Crystal, Medusa, Black Bolt, Karnak, and Maximus. There's one member missing, Triton. And Triton, if you don't know and you don't read the comics, you don't uh, watch the TV, the, the awful TV show. Actually, I don't know if Triton's in the TV show. Anywho, he is like a f fish guy, a reptile guy. Again, I don't know that much about the Inhumans, but as you can see, he's quite different visually sort of like ben Grimm's thing to the fantastic four where the rest of them for the most part look human you know old goat legs aside he is very obviously not human um well they're all inhumans but you know what i mean he looks like a he looks like a fish guy he's like a fish version of namor if you were to describe namor to someone they would probably think that he looks like this before just looking like a human in a speedo with a spear so yeah or like Aquaman, for example. You don't expect Aquaman to just look like a human, right? He's like, he can breathe underwater. He can swim super fast. He must, he must look like a fish have gills, right? No, he's just a dude with big muscles and long hair. But yeah, so I would be surprised if we don't get Triton for this update because he is pretty integral to the royal family of the 
uh, Inhumans, and he's a pretty central character to that. Now, there are a lot of other Inhumans. I mean, for example, Kamala Khan is, a, is an Inhuman, so we could be seeing her, and we know that they've already announced... Oh, yes, it's already in the game, too. Awesome. They already announced an eight-week check-in. So some people may speculate that these are the characters that are going to be getting reworked. We already know Black Bolt's getting a rework, which is awesome. So just a heads up for you guys. I'm sort of mixing the information around because I want to talk about Triton and some other characters. But let me now flash forward to this. Uh, as far as what you should do to, you know, prepare yourself if you really want to max out Black Bolt. Obviously, you don't have to unlock him now. You could because you're still... Actually, you probably should because it's still 13 days before you're going to get him at six stars. Yeah, you know what? You probably should just tier two your Black Bolts now. That's a bummer. And then I guess you could use those 256 Biles on his uniform. But I think the update's going to be here in less than two weeks. And this is basically two weeks away. So unless you want to wait, you could wait, but maybe not. But uh, on top of uh, him, we could be getting a new uniform for Moon Girl, although she already has one. I don't really think she deserves one. We could be getting a new uniform for Kamala Khan. She desperately needs one. She desperately needs a rework. Could be getting a new uniform for Karnak. He desperately needs a rework. We could be getting a new uniform for Medusa. She kind of needs it a little bit more than Moon Girl, I would say. Uh, Crystal doesn't really need one, but we could be getting one for her. Oh, and then there's no Maximus? Dang. Well, Maximus and Gorgon desperately need uniforms. They are terrible. They are Karnak level terrible. But yeah, so what you could do to prepare is you could start farming up the Inhumans. And, you know, depending on how much you have in terms of resources, in terms of Rift tokens, you could start saving. The, just save your Rift tokens, I guess. You don't have to max out those characters until we see them all in action and see what they're capable of if they're getting reworks. Uh, and then start saving your universal tier 3 uh, Titan records. We need more ways to farm Titan records, Marvel Future Fight. I'm telling you guys, Mar World Boss is not enough. I am at six books. I'm lucky. I'm one of the lucky ones. I tier three to Odin and I'm already back up to six books. But some players have a really hard time. They gotta, you gotta let us farm a Titan Selector. You know, maybe once a month we should be able to farm a Titan Selector or, or twice a month, once a week. We should be able to farm a Titan Selector from GBR or Danger Room or Squad Battle or something like that. Uh, because world boss is just not enough but yeah save your books if you really want a tier 3 black bolt and of course start saving up your rift tokens to then hit him up but i believe all of the inhumans are very easily farmable so this should be a very free to play hopefully it is a very free to play friendly update there we go we got moon girl karnak gorgon infernal crystal maximus and then further down i believe we will see the man himself bb there he is the only one not here is medusa so if you want to farm up Medusa, you're going to have to just save up bio selectors. She is a bio selector only farmable a la Hulk and those types. So she is quite a bit more rare than the rest of the Inhumans. Okay. But yeah, besides Triton, the last character that I would, the last characters that I would sort of maybe imagine coming to the Inhumans in an update would be like sort of the new wave of Inhumans. So they have, they have all new Inhumans. And this is, of course, Crystal. Uh, but then over here we have, I believe we have, uh, his name is Flint. I just looked this up recently, sorry. Flint, and this is uh, Grid, and I'm not sure who that is. It looks like, a, yeah, a guy, I'm not sure. But we have Flint and Iso, and so Flint is, no, sorry, this is, that's Iso, no, yeah, that's Iso, that's, no, that's not Iso, that's Grid, that's Flint. I'm having a hard time here. So this is Grid, and he's Indian, and it's really cool. So we don't have, I don't believe we have that many Indian characters. We have Kamala Khan, who's Pakistani. So it'd be really cool to have some more ethnic, ethnic characters and have some more uh, ethnic diversity in Marvel Future Fight. So it's possible that we do get Grid. I'm not exactly sure what his powers are. We have, that's Iso, dang it. We have Flint, who has really cool geokinetic powers. I love Earth-based powers because I'm a big fan of like Avatar The Last Airbender and stuff like that. It's like Toph. So he can basically, well, he can can edit, he can, you know, manipulate the earth. And one of the ways he does that is by creating like this really cool earth armor around himself and then beating people up with it. He beats up, like, punches Hercules and stuff like that. So yeah, Flint is really cool. And then Iso is Chinese and I have no idea what her powers are. Sorry, I didn't look into Grid or uh, Iso's powers. I believe it's Iso, it's I-S-O. But yeah, there are quite a few sort of lesser known, I would say, kind of, in my opinion, as, as a more casual uh, comic book reader recently. In my opinion, these are more, uh, you know, unknown uh, in human characters that could be coming to the game. But I'm curious to, to hear and to know what you think and who you think is coming to the game uh, as far as the Inhumans go. And do you think it's going to be an, an Inhumans only update? Because some people have said that there's a possibility like the Uncanny Avengers 
uh, Agents of Atlas update where we got uniforms for Scarlet Witch, Quicksilver, Rogue, but then we also got, you know, White Fox, Swordmaster, Arrow. Is this going to be a mashup update with two themes? I personally don't like mashup updates with two themes. I would prefer a singular in humans theme, but that's just my opinion. Let me know what yours is. Thank you so much for watching. Are you hype about Black Bolt Tier 3? I'm pretty hype, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.